Southern Day Frog, also referred to as the Mount Glorious Torrent Frog or Mount Glorious Day Frog. The scientific name was Todactylus dirunus. The IUCN Red List listed the Mount Glorious Day Frog as extinct. It was effective as of the 16th of July 2000. It is unconfirmed what caused their extinction. They were small frogs. The males grew to 22 to 27.2 millimetres and the females grew to 23.3 to 30.6 millimetres. The skin was smooth, finely granular or with a few warts on top. The surface of their back was grey or brown. On their shoulders they had a dark, slightly raised H-shape. They had a pale bar running through the eyes to the base of the forearm. Their limbs had dark crossbands and the underside was cream, yellow-white or blue-grey. With or without grey spots, their throat was more heavily spotted. They had webbed toes and they lived in mountainous rainforest in a tall open forest and with other vegetation near streams at an elevation of 350 metres to 800 metres. The streams they would often be in would have rocky substrate and a few of the substrate as long as the water wasn't muddy. They were generally found within 10 metres of water, but in wet weather they would be up to 22 metres away. They often entered the water, swimming from point to point or sitting half submerged. At night they sheltered under rocks and debris or within crevices. They were a day species and became active at sunrise and slept soon after sunset. They were very active but would also become motionless in the sun or on warm rocks and they could leap away from danger into water and would swim away or hide beneath rocks and loose mud. They were very restricted by temperature and was very harmed by extreme dryness or drought-like conditions. They have been observed all year round but less frequently in cooler winter months. Their breeding season between warm weather or heavy rain. Fertilised eggs were put in under rocks in the water. Their tadpoles were bottom dwellers and fed off scraping food from the substrate. The tadpoles were moderately sized. Although they didn't have vocal sacs, they had a call which resembled soft chuckling. This was repeated one to two or four to five times in quick succession every four to five minutes. After analysing their gut content, it showed they were opportunist feeders of invertebrates from the forest floor. They were observed taking small insects along the stream, however none taking prey directly from the water. It is assumed the main causes for the disappearance was due to disease, as there's no obvious evidence for overcollection, pollution or drought to be responsible, as it was closely related to the disappearance of the southern gastric brooding frog. Argues the disappearance could be due to late rains in the cooler months, the habitat was effective by altered stream flowing and water quality. The southern day frog didn't like very muddy water, which often came with feral pigs. There was likely predation from these pigs, but the greatest threat they brought were increase in slits on the embryos and tadpoles. The slits caused less food for the tadpoles, meaning their fitness would be decreased for when they metamorphosized. The habitat was also threatened by weed invasion.